if you put a rat inside a box with four long tunnels, so the rat goes into tunnel one looking for cheese, no cheese, tunnel two, no cheese, tunnel three, no cheese, tunnel four, and it finds the cheese at the end of tunnel four. So if you put the rat back inside the box, it's gonna go straight to tunnel four. And at the end of tunnel four, there's the cheese. Over and over again, tunnel four, there's the cheese. Tunnel four, there's the cheese. Now, if you move the cheese to tunnel one, so the rat goes into the tunnel, goes across, goes to tunnel four, goes to the end, no cheese, comes back out of four, goes to three, no cheese, comes to two, no cheese, goes to one, there's the cheese. You put the rat back inside the box, where does it go? That's right, tunnel number one, because that's where the cheese was the last time. Now, a human being, you put him inside the box and you send him down there. So, number one, no cheese. Tunnel two, no cheese. Tunnel three, no cheese. Tunnel four, there's the cheese. Now, you keep putting the cheese in tunnel four, put the cheese in tunnel four, put the cheese in tunnel four, and it'll just keep, the human being will just keep getting in the box and going straight to tunnel four to get his delicious cheese. And what happens in the end, if you move the cheese to tunnel one, you know what a human being does? Well, he gets inside the box and just like the rat, he goes straight to tunnel four because that's where the cheese was. But what happens is he gets to the end of tunnel four and there's no cheese there. Now, you know what he does from then? He actually sets up a tent for the next 40 years telling everybody about the cheese that was once at the end of tunnel four. In fact, he puts up a plaque for eternal memory, Zichron Oilam, of the cheese that was once in the, at the end of Tunnel 4. In fact, his great-grandkids still have customs that will be about the cheese that was at the end of Tunnel 4. You see, we're all at the end of Tunnel 4, meaning each one of us has a certain level of dysfunction from our upbringing, from our community, from our parents, from ourselves, from the things that happened to us. And we just get to know each other. We get to know ourselves that way. And then what happens is however you know yourself is how the world looks. The world comes out to how you know yourself. That's the world you live in. It all comes out how you know yourself. And so there's a problem with that because then it keeps proving that that's what is. That must be reality. And so this is what we call self-deception. Self-deception is when you have a dysfunction, i.e. your worldview, that gets constantly proven because, you know, you see your world will look exactly as you see it. And so what happens in the end is that we deceive ourselves. So the possible you is coming to New York once again, New York and New Jersey, starting Muncie this coming week on uh, April 11th and then April uh, 17th it will, or 18th. It starts in Lakewood for men and then. The next day it starts the women's seminar. Also in Muncie on the 11th, the 12th, we'll start the women's seminar. So go online to uh, rabbiyomtov.com and get signed up to join this seminar. It is amazing because finally you can go there and realize there's no cheese. There's no cheese there. And you can finally discover a life you love. See you there.